solve problems on free longitudinal vibrations given question a steel wire of 5 mm diameter and 40 m long is fixed at the upper end and carries a mass m at the lower end find mass m in kilogram such that frequency of longitudinal vibration is 6 hertz take e is equal to 200 gigapascal let us understand given data with the help of diagram one end of wire is fixed and other end is attached to the mass m now for this wire diameter d is given in millimeter so standard unit is meter so we can say that d is equal to 5 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter and the length of the wire is mentioned 40 meter now the natural frequency fn is 6 hertz and the elasticity 200 gigapascal so standard unit is pascal so we will convert it into pascal so 200 into 10 raised to 9 pascal now we have to find out the value for this mass m attached now if we refer all these 12 formulas then we can find out which formulas we have to use as per the given data now for the details of this formulas please refer my previous video and the link is provided in the description box now for this fn that is the natural frequency formula is fn is equal to 1 by tp unit is hertz so tp is the time period now again for this tp we will use the formula 2 pi by omega n now if we observe this omega n value is also not mentioned in the question now how to find out the omega n so omega n is equal to under root of k by m now here k that is the stiffness so we can consider here this wire will act as a spring and it is having stiffness k now again we have to find out the stiffness k for this wire so we will use, uh, write all these formulas so we have to find out this k first so what is the formula to find out the k so k is equal to ae by l so here is the sixth formula a into e by l where a is the area so we can calculate cross sectional area of the wire e is the elasticity that is mentioned in the question and l is the length of the wire so when we put the values then we will get the answer so a that is pi by 4 d square into e it is given 200 into 10 raised to 9 divided by l that is 40 So when we calculate this, we will get the answer 98.1 into 10 raised to 3 newton per meter. Now we will put the value of k in this equation for f n. Now f n value is given 6 hertz. Now we will transfer 2 pi to the left hand side. So 6 multiplied by 2 pi is equal to square root of 98.1 into 10 raised to 3 divided by m. Now we will take square on both sides. So when we take square square on both sides, so 2 pi into 6 bracket square that is 1421.22 is equal to 98.1 into 10 raised to 3 by m. So we will transfer m to the left hand side and this value to the right hand side. So answer m is equal to 69.02 kilogram. given question a spring mass system has a spring stiffness k newton per meter and a mass of m kg it has natural frequency of vibration as a 12 hertz and extra 2 kg mass is coupled to m and the natural frequency reduces by 2 hertz find k and m let us understand given question with the help of diagram when spring stiffness k is in newton meter and mass m is in kilogram then natural frequency fn1 is equal to 12 hertz now some changes are provided to the spring mass system when mass m extra 2 kilogram is added that is m will become m plus 2 then in that case natural frequency decreases by 2 hertz that is fn2 is equal to 10 hertz now for these conditions we have to find out what is the value of spring stiffness k and what is the value of mass m now we will use the formula 
So what is the formula for this natural frequency Fn? So Fn is equal to 1 divided by time period Tp. Now this Tp is not mentioned in the question. So how to find out Tp? So Tp is equal to 2 pi by omega n. So the value of omega n is also not given. Therefore omega n is equal to under root of k by m. So we will use this value under root of k by n. So we will write the values for fn1 and fn2. So what is this fn1? fn1 is equal to omega n1 by 2 pi. So omega n1 that is under root of k by m. So here we will try to simplify this equation. So I will transfer 2 pi to the left hand side. So what is the value of fn1? That is 12 hertz multiplied by 2 pi which is equal to under root of k by m. Now we will square on both the sides. So when we square on both the sides, then this square root and square is getting cancelled. So 12 multiplied by 2 multiplied by pi square is equal to k divided by m. So k is equal to 5684.89 into m. So this is the value of k in terms of m. Now we have to find out both this k as well as m. Now we will move to the second case. So here m plus 2 that is extra mass is added and fn2 is equal to 10 hertz. Now again we will rewrite the same equation for the fn2. So how it will become? So fn2 is equal to k divided by here instead of m we have to take m plus 2 divided by 2 pi. So this equation I will give here this is the equation number 1 and we have to rewrite this equation number 2 for this fn2. Now we will put the value. So we will transfer this 2 pi to the left hand side. So fn2 that is 10 multiplied by 2 pi which is equal to under root of k divided by m plus 2. So again we will square on both sides. So the square root and square will getting cancelled. So 10 into 2 pi that is 3 9 bracket square. So we have to take here square. So it is equal to 3947.84 which is equal to. Now here the square root and square is getting cancelled. So what is the value of k? It is in terms of m. So we will write here 5684.89 into m divided by m plus 2. Now again I will transfer this m plus 2 to the left hand side and I will uh, multiply with this term. So how it will become? 3947.84 into m plus now 3947.84 multiplied by 2 that is equal to 7895.68 which is equal to 5684.89 into m. Now if we observe this equation then this is the m term and this is also the m term. So I will transfer this m term to the left hand side so it will become minus. So here 5684.89 minus 3947.84 and M will be common. So answer is 1737.05 M and which is equal to this term that is 7895.68. So it is easy to find out this M. So M is equal to 4.54 kilogram. So in this way we will get this first term that is the mass M. Now how to find out the stiffness K? So K here, K is in terms of M. So if we multiply with this M, 5684.89 into 4.54, then we will get K. That is stiffness is 25840 Newton per meter. One question for the system shown in figure K1 3000 Newton per meter, K2 1500 Newton per meter, K3 2000 Newton per meter, K4 is equal to K5 is equal to 500 Newton per meter. Find mass M such that the system has a natural frequency of 10 Hertz. This is the given diagram and we have to find out mass M where the natural frequency Fn is equal to 10 Hertz for the spring and mass system. Now we have to first find out the equivalent spring stiffness K for the springs in series as well as equivalent spring stiffness K for the springs in parallel. 
Now here K1, K2, K3, these three springs are connected one after the other and therefore these springs are in series. So how to find out its equivalent spring stiffness? So here is the formula. 1 divided by k is equal to 1 divided by k1 plus 1 divided by k2 when the springs are in series where this k is the equivalent spring stiffness so i will write here as the equivalent k so we will first find out equivalent spring stiffness for 1 2 and 3 that is 1 divided by k 1 2 3 equivalent is equal to 1 by k1 plus 1 by k2 plus 1 by K3. Now we will put the value. So all these values are known. So 1 divided by 3000 plus 1 divided by 1500 plus 1 divided by 2000. So what is the answer for this first? That is 1 divided by 3000 is equal to 3.33 into 10 raised to minus 4. 1 divided by 1500 is equal to that is plus 6.6 .6 into 10 raised to minus 4 plus 1 divided by 2000 that is plus 5 into 10 raised to minus 4. So we will take 10 raised to minus 4 as a common term and when we add this then we will get the answer 14.9 into 10 raised to minus 4. Now here on the left hand side there is 1 divided by k123 equivalent. Now I will transfer this to the right hand side and this term to the left hand side. So we have to find out the value for 1 divided by 14.9 into 10 raised to minus 4. So answer is 0 0.0671 into 10 raised to 4. So if we simplify this then we will get 671 Newton per meter. So this is the equivalent value for the springs in series. Now we will move to calculate the value for springs in parallel. So when the springs in parallel then we have k equivalent is equal to k1 plus k2. So here k4 and k5 we have to take. So k4 phi equivalent is equal to k4 plus k5 and that is equal to 500 plus 500 that is 1000 Newton per meter. Now we will redraw the diagram with equivalent spring stiffness. So for the springs in series we will put here the equivalent spring stiffness K123 equivalent is equal to 671 whose one end is fixed and other end is attached to the mass M. Now for this parallel springs we will uh, put here the equivalent spring K45 which is equal to 1000 Newton per meter whose one end is fixed and other end is attached to the mass M. Now main important question is that how to decide these springs are in series or these springs are in parallel. So if we observe one end of both of these springs is attached to the fixed surface and other end is attached to the common mass m so if we redraw this structure again then suppose this is the fixed surface then we will take one end of k123 to this fixed surface and one end k45 equivalent to this fixed surface and other end we will attach to this common mass m so again if we observe this then these two springs are in parallel. So what is the formula to calculate equivalent spring stiffness for the parallel springs. So here for the parallel springs k equivalent is equal to k1 plus k2. So we will just add these two spring stiffness that is 671 plus 1000 that is 1671 Newton per meter. Now value of Fn is given. Now if we observe this formula Fn is equal to 1 by Tp. So Tp is equal to 2 pi by omega n. So we can write here Fn is equal to omega n by 2 pi. So value of omega n is not mentioned in the question. So omega n is equal to under root of k by m. So I will transfer this 2 pi to the left hand side. Value of Fn is 10. So 10 into 2 pi is equal to under root of k by n. So I will square on both of these sides. So the square root and square is getting cancelled. So here 3947.8 is equal to k by m where k is 1671 divided by m. So what is the value of m? So m is equal to 0 0.458 kilograms.